Hi, today we will be discussing another problem on sorted array. The only difference between other problems and this problem is that the sorted array is a rotated array. So first of all, let's see what is a rotated array. So A is array. If I rotate it by 1, what does that mean? That means I take the last element out, put it in the first place and shift all the elements into the array by one position. So the resultant rotated array will be if I rotate it again, that means on the original input, I have two rotations, then the output will be similarly, if I rotate it again, my output will be, so we have rotated it by three. This is a rotated array, rotated by three positions. Hence, the last element is at, if, let's say, if array has been rotated by K, then last element in the original array will be at k minus 1th index of array. So if somebody asks what is the index of the minimum element into this array, we can easily say that the minimum index or the minimum element into this array will be the kth index. If we know how many rotations have been done onto this array, what if we don't know how many rotations are being done on this array? That means we don't know the k. K is unknown and we are we are asked to find the minimum element into the array. So the problem statement is given a rotator sorted array. That means the original array was sorted but then it was rotated. Find minimum element in that array. So this is the question. We want to find the index of the minimum element of the array. In other words, it is to ask how many rotations this array has gone through. So if our minimum index or the minimum element is at the index i then the array has gone through i iteration i rotation so our minimum index or the minimum element is at index 0 1 2 so there are two rotations this array has gone through in this case our minimum index is at index 3 so this array has gone through three iterations or three rotations from the original array so in in other words we are also finding the k that means how many rotations this array has gone through both the questions are same so we can solve with one method let's see what is the algorithm let's take a couple of examples and see what happens when there is a rotation in an array so let's say this is my original array and i rotate it by four positions then my array will be something like this so the minimum element required is one this is the element we want to find out and there are four rotations. This is not known. Not known. If I rotate it by, this is example one. I take another example. Let's say this is my array, and I rotate it by three. So output array should be something like. Now the element to be look uh, look for is if I take another example, example three, and let's say I have inputs as like, and it has been rotated by two positions. So my array will be looking like and the element we are looking for is this. What is the peculiar condition about these three elements? What what differentiates them from the other elements into the array? Look the element just before these elements, the minimum element. Just look for the element which is just before the element which is required. What is the condition? If we look at any other element, that condition will not be satisfied. And that condition is that if i is the index where our minimum element is then then it is merged that a of i should be less than a of i minus 1 this condition needs to be satisfied if our ith element is the minimum index if we look at any other element this condition will not be true let's say i take this as a minimum element and see whether this condition is true a of 2 is not less than a of 1 so this this can't be minimum if i take 7 a of 2 is a of 3 is not min less than a of 2 so this cannot be minimum if i look at this a of 4 is less than a of 3 that means this is our min. similarly at this point also 6 is less than 11 100 is less than 200 this will not be the condition when we are comparing 117 and 200 because it, this condition will be satisfied only at the minimum index only condition other than this we need to take care of is when i minus 1 
is out of bound because we have to include the first element also right first element can be the minimum element if the array is not rotated at all or it has been rotated n times with n elements so if i take example that is example 4 and the example is 7 9 and i don't rotate it i rotate it by 0 so the output array will be something like this then I don't have this condition. I can't compare it with this condition. So what should be the minimum element in that case? It should be the A of 0 should be the rotation. A of 0 should be the, the value, the minimum. So if I tell you what will be the K, K will be 0 or it can be N also. If I rotate it by N times, it will it, the same I will come. So whenever we return K equals to 0, make sure that you also return N also. So these are the two possible candidates of rotation when the first element is the minimum element into the array. So examples are given. Now this is the condition we, we should look for. Before jumping onto the conclusions or jumping onto the algorithm which we are discussing now, uh, I would like to dwell upon what is the brute force solution for this algorithm or this problem. The brute force solution is nothing but scan through all the elements and find the minimum. What is the complexity of this brute force? solution it's o of n we need to optimize this algorithm and to reduce o of n the best we can go is log n and to get log n complexity on a sorter array what is the algorithm which is best known when searching for an element it's we will try to split the array into two parts and look into one part and discard the another one so that our complexity is reduced from o of n to log of n so let's see the optimized solution we know the pivot condition once we reach there we will just return that whenever we find such kind of element and in binary search what we do we select the mid let's see some example and uh, find out what should be discarded and what should be checked so i'll take one example let's say uh, my input rotated array is something like this what we need to do in binary search the best thing we do is find the mid so mid is end plus star divided by 2 so mid will be in this case 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 7 plus 0 divided by 2 that is 3 so index 3 will be 0 1 2 3 this is our mid now we are looking for the minimum element minimum element what should this min tell us about where the minimum element can lie there are two conditions right there is an array between these two and there is an array which is on the right hand side. So there are two sub arrays into this array now. What we can say about these two arrays? If A of mid which we found here is greater than A of n. That means we are into the part of the array. We are into the part of the array which is rotated it is not the original array it is rotated sub array and since it is greater than the end there might be possibility that there are some elements after mid which are greater than mid and there are some elements which are less than end which are less than n so there are like there can be a, a of i which is greater than a of mid and there can be a of j which is less than a of n and if this is a sorted array then if a of n is less than a of mid then there would be if there is some a of j it should be also less than a of mid so it can't happen that a of mid is the least element there should be an element either a of n or the element which is prior to the a of n that is jth element which will be the minimum element so if this condition is met then we will look into the look in right sub array if this condition is now other way that is a of mid and uh, right here a of mid is less than a of n that means this array is sorted let's take another example and we will work out that condition there let's say this is my array my mid will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 plus 0 divided by 2 that is 3 so my mid is 1 and now my a of mid 
is less than a of n once this condition is true we can definitely say that all the elements between mid and end are greater than a of mid so the minimum element can be either the mid or the number which is prior to that so it can't happen that the minimum element lies between min, mid and the end so whenever this condition is met we can surely say that the array between mid and end is sorted so the minimum element in this part of the array is mid and if mid doesn't satisfy the condition we thought which we have declared earlier that a of mid should be less than a of mid minus 1 if it doesn't satisfy this condition then the minimum element can be into this part of the array not this part so look for the left sub array if this is a condition look in left sub array so these are the two conditions now what if we if we want to see that it is a recursion relation because whatever we are looking at an array of n element we will be doing the same thing for n by 2 and then for n by 4 so it's a recursion for recursion we need a base so what are the base base case once we find the element that will be the base case right if some some mid minus 1 satisfy the condition then the, that will be the base case one thing other base case will be when the array is completely sorted it is not rotated at all then it will happen that at some point of time a of start will be equals to n not a of start start will be equals to n then we have to return a of start only one element is there and if sometimes it might happen that start goes less than n at that point we will just return the first element a of this condition will be hit only when the array is completely sorted if this condition will be hit when we are doing recursion and we reach to the only one element so then we will be returning this and if uh, there is a condition where we don't reach uh, at this condition where we go directly start is less than end then we will return the first element of the array so let's code it and see how it works so we will be returning int find minimum input will be input array the start and the end we will just check the base conditions first if we are returning the element itself then a of start or we can return start also if we are returning the index now the conditions which are met so before that we will find out the middle element the mid will be now if mid is greater than low or start not low start this is the condition to avoid the overflow of the uh, array because we will be using mid minus 1 so it has to be greater than start then a of mid is less than a of mid minus 1 if this condition is satisfied then we will just return so this is done now what we can do is we can discard the half of the array based on our condition those conditions will be a a of i not i it should be mid a of mid is less than a of end that means the right hand side of the array is sorted we have to look for the element which is less than mid element so all the elements are the left hand side of the array so we'll find min and this will be returned return find min a will be passed start will be as such as start and end will be mid minus 1 because if mid would have been satisfying this condition we would have returned from here only so mid should be excluded else we will just return find and the upper part of the array that is mid plus 1 and end this is the simple implementation of the algorithm which finds an element in a sorted rotated array the complexity of this algorithm is as earlier said log of n so watch more for more videos on algorithms and data structures for interview preparations. Thank you very much for your time. Please do subscribe, like or comment on the video.